No warmth, no cheerfulness, no healthful ease, no comfortable feel in any member. No shade, no shine, no butterflies, no bees, no fruits, no flowers, no leaves, no birds, no vember. You're watching A Recipe for Nightmares, exploring the Vincent Price cookbook with your host, John McNee. To recap, Vincent Price, horror movie icon, gourmet chef, John McNee, obscure horror author, desperate YouTube wannabe, mush them together and you've got this. Whatever this is. It's November here on A Recipe for Nightmares and indeed elsewhere in the world, so I'm told. That grim emptiness between Halloween and Christmas. In keeping with that, this episode will have a bit of grim emptiness all of its own. Not that that's anything necessarily unusual. November is all about preparations, about preparing for the season ahead. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be preparing for future recipes. That's why today's recipe is Racket Club Spiced Vinegar. Now, I don't want to get big headed or anything, but am I the first person to own the Vincent Price cookbook who's attempted to make Racket Club Spiced Vinegar? I think I might be. You could also call this recipe a whole lot of effort for a whole lot of not much. We require Pear vinegar, anchovies, lemon, Worcester sauce, horseradish, salt, pepper, celery salt, onion salt, garlic salt, dry mustard, pickling spices, olive oil, sauce Robert. Sauce Robert. What, you might ask, as well you should, is sauce Robert? There's nothing in the recipe to explain. There's nothing in the book to help us out. Which, well, okay, let's investigate. Sauce Robert, pronounced Robert. <laughs> Brown mustard sauce made with onions, mustard, white wine, simmered in a basic demi-glass. What's a demi-glass? A demi-glass is a rich brown sauce used in French cuisine. Dried thyme, parsley, black peppercorns, beef stock, bay leaf, espagnol sauce. What's espagnol sauce? Espanol is a basic brown sauce that is one of the five mother sauces of classical cuisine. It's just sauces all the way down. If only there was a simpler way. Oh, hello. Instant demi glass. I had to go online to get this. You can't buy this in the shops. You see this, Vincent? I beat you. You crazy son of a bitch, I beat you. So, back to making sauce Robert. We require sugar, lemon juice, butter, onions, white wine, demi-glace, and dry mustard. Step one, in a small bowl combine half a teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of lemon juice. Step two, melt two tablespoons of butter in a saucepan and cook half a cup of onions until translucent, but don't let them turn brown. Step three, add a cup of white wine, and a little for me. Mm. Yeah, that helps. So I'm gonna heat that till it boils and then reduce the heat and simmer it until the liquid reduces by about two thirds. While that's doing that, I'm gonna make my instant demi glass. I'm supposed to make a liter of this stuff, which, you know, seems excessive, but okay. Who am I to argue? It just smells of bisto to me. So this has obviously been worth it. So now they're both simmering. This is not a good recipe to make if you really want to feel like your life is going somewhere. The white wine is reduced a fair bit, so I'm going to add the demi glass. So that's been simmering for about 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two teaspoons of mustard in here, along with our mixture of sugar and lemon juice. And into that strain our sauce. And that, as near as I can tell, is it. Sauce Robert. I bet you can't wait to see how this is incorporated. I'll tell you right now, it's not worth it. Okay, after all that, it's time to do the actual recipe. Step one. In a jar, 
Measure three quarters of a cup of pear vinegar. Three. Step two, and this is a big one, uh, add two tablespoons of anchovy oil. One, two. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Oh, you know what? Two teaspoons of Worcester sauce. And this is the best bit, the bit you've all been waiting for. Two teaspoons of sauce Robert. One, two. Phew, just enough. One tablespoon of grated horseradish. One teaspoon of salt. A quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And an eighth of a teaspoon each of celery salt, onion salt, garlic salt, and dry mustard. Mix well. <laughs> We've got some cheesecloth here, so we're going to take two tablespoons of pickling spices, wrap that up, and dump that right in. After two days, I'm supposed to remove the spices. Step four is to leave this to stand at room temperature for four days and then strain it and keep it in the refrigerator. Now, Vincent Price does say that this spiced vinegar is an important ingredient in producing the finest salad dressing in the world. Is that true? Well, we'll have to wait and see. For the moment, <coughs> it's anybody's guess. So, there we have it. Uh, Racket Club spiced vinegar, or, or there we will have it in a few days. You'll have to check back in uh, another video and see how, how it's progressed. Today's dish will be paired with nothing because I've got nothing to eat. <coughs> this is the peak of gourmet cooking right here. Please do join me again for another recipe for nightmares. If you can stand it. Some people call me mad, you know. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm.